morning everybody thank you for watching today's vlog so i'm gonna start doing my makeup so today i just wrote my like notes for my podcast so usually when i film my podcasts or record them i will have my laptop open in front of me and that is because on my laptop is where i'm like recording the audio into so like i can watch the audio and make sure that it's like working and still recording so that is on my laptop so i'm just like watching that the whole time and then i have um like a page of notes that i talk about so i remember what i'm trying to say you know? <laughs> and like all the points that i want to get across so anyways this morning i sat on my bike in my office and like typed all my notes out today's podcast is going to be really good the one that i'm recording today that you guys will hear on tuesdays um so the layout that i kind of wanted for the podcast was i wanted to do some series um because I feel like there are some topics where there's just a whole lot to say and it would be fun to make it into a bunch of different episodes. But then there are some topics where, you know, I could probably fit it all into one episode. So yeah, I wanted some series and some individual episodes. But um, also, because it is more series, like I'm doing them on Tuesdays, but I don't know if they will be every single Tuesday. I kind of like that idea i haven't done that yet i've done it every tuesday for the past four weeks three weeks <laughs> but yeah i'm not exactly 100 percent sure of the like the the layout of it because i want it to be really natural and i want it to flow naturally and i don't i have so much to say still like obviously i just started it but i don't ever want to feel like i just have to have like a filler episode so that you guys get an episode every Tuesday or so that I can put an episode out every Tuesday. Like I want to put it, put it out as often as possible but also I want it to be as meaningful as possible and like full of me as possible and like full of joy as possible. So yeah, I feel like I have a lot to say so it will be like consistently on Tuesdays for a while but occasionally maybe it won't be every single week. And yeah, I just want to let you guys know, like, that's kind of what, what I had in mind because I just want it to be natural and I want it to flow. And, you know, just like with any anything, like, creativity and ideas don't always just flow, especially having, like, a creative job like this where I'm always, like, creating content. It's just like, a, you know, it's just a, adding the podcast adds a whole other, is a whole other thing. So yeah, my plan is to upload on Tuesdays, but not every single Tuesday consistently, but it will always be Tuesdays. If there ever isn't one on Tuesday, like it will probably be the next Tuesday. Like you don't ever plan on taking like time off or anything like that, but you know what I mean. So yeah, that's just what I was thinking about. Um, but so far I'm loving it and there was something I wanted to tell you guys. Oh yeah, I'm going to the eye doctor today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go to the eye doctor for so long and I just have it but I've been saying it forever so you guys know I just took them off but I wear those blue light blocking glasses all the time those are from I buy direct like e-y-e-b-u-y direct and they are just blue light blocking so they like help filter the blue light of like computer screens and phone screens and stuff um so I wear them like pretty much all day while I'm working but Lately, I've been feeling like I can't see very well, especially at night. Like, I hate driving at night because I can't see. And then, like, anytime I'm working, I'm, like, right up here, like, looking in the computer screen because I can't see it. Like, I, I need something, like, that magnifies. So I want to get glasses that will magnify or do whatever my prescription needs. Um, but I also want them to be blue light blocking. So I, I'm going to Costco <laughs> for my eye exam. So I don't know if Costco has eyeglasses that are blue light blocking and have prescription. I don't know. But I know that that's a thing. Like I know I buy direct has that. I know a lot of, you know, places have that. I just don't know if Costco does. So yeah, that's what I'm getting ready for. I'm going to leave here in like 10 minutes. So I'm just right. Yeah, it's 918 and I wanted to leave here at 930. So I'm just throwing on some makeup and then after that, I am going to run some errands for something really special that I can't really tell you guys so it's not really my news to share, but it's really exciting. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I think I might tell you guys later, like it's going to come up at some point, but it's, it has nothing to do with me. I'm just helping out. So 
I'm not hiding anything from you guys. It's just like literally not my business, but I'm helping out and I'm so excited. This is really exciting too. I can't tell you this either, but, but I'll tell you something. So the other day I was doing research for something and I went into Ulta and um, I was, so I never really looked at the Kylie um, lip kits area at Ulta. Like it's always like a really big like gondola at Ulta and it's always really pretty, but I never really took the time to look at it. I don't know why. I literally hadn't ordered anything from Kylie ever. And then I was in Ulta the other day um, when KKW launched in Ulta's. So once I saw that KKW was in Ulta, I have some of the KKW stuff. So I was like, oh, I wanna go check it out. So I went to Ulta um, for KKW, but then I was like, oh, I might as well look at the Kylie stuff while I'm in here. And um, I had just watched Kylie Jenner do her everyday makeup routine and she used the soft pink setting powder under her eyes and it looked, she looks so beautiful all the time, you know? So I bought that because of her and I really like it. So I only use it um, in my under eye and I have been wearing the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Literally this whole drawer right here is all just Laura Mercier translucent powders. There's like literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13 of these in this drawer because they sent me them, not because I bought 13, but they sent me them and I, that's my favorite powder, so I have a lot of backups. <laughs> but I wanted to try something new. Um, so yeah, I just bought that on a whim. I also bought um, one of the lip kits. I bought the Dulce, what one did I get? This one. Is it Dolce K or Dulce K? Don't know, but that's the one that I bought. So I got the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. And then I also got, um, I actually didn't get much from KKW. I have a couple things already that I love. Um, and then I was looking at the lipstick and I wasn't very like drawn to lipstick colors. I think the formula is really cool. Like I love the packaging, literally love it all. I just didn't love the colors. So I didn't get any lipsticks, which I went there for. But I did get a lip liner. I got the nude 1.5 and I've been wearing that wearing that a lot lately and I really like it. But um, what else did I get? And then I got like a Jeffree Star X Morphe little lip kit with a bunch of li these little mini lipsticks. I got the nude one. So I got Mannequin, which I've been wearing a lot. I got Leo and then it came with two glosses, which is Slurp and Star Crown. But from like Morphe's original collection, I have Morphe um, Flower Crown, and I think it's the same. I think it's the same color. <laughs> Cause it's Star Crown and Flower Crown, so I literally think they just changed the name. I could be totally wrong. Let me look at it. But I don't, I don't know. I think they're the same. Maybe that, maybe you guys know, like, are they the same? Anyways, so that's like what I bought at Ulta the other day. And I've been wearing it a lot lately, but I still haven't replaced my like holy grail lipstick combo. It's just my favorite. It's my go-to. I wore it on my wedding day. I don't have it because it's in my purse because I wear it every day. But um, it's Too Faced Skinny Dippin' Lipstick. And then my lip liner is MAC Strip Down. That's my lip combo that I wear every single day. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do a cream contour. What am I doing? I always cream contour. So today I'm going to go to the eye doctor. After that, I'm going to come back home and film, film and record my podcast. Also, with the podcast, I had been putting it on my YouTube channel, as you guys have seen, but I actually just created a whole separate channel for my podcast. So it's called Full of Joy Podcast here on YouTube. I'll link it down below. It's linked in all my videos now. Um, but yeah, I was uploading my podcast to this channel, but I just decided it would be fun to have its own channel. Make sure you guys go subscribe to that if you listen to the podcasts here on YouTube. If you don't, no big deal. Uh, you can also listen to the podcast on Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. But yeah, I just thought it'd be fun. And kind of like separate the two, because they are very, my channel and my podcast are different. They have the same message, but they are really different. And I know that um, a lot of people, you know, like come to one platform for one thing and one platform for another thing. So like if you're coming to YouTube for my YouTube channel and you see my podcast, you might be like, what? What's going on? So yeah, I just wanted it to be easy for you guys. So that is why it has a whole channel to itself. It's really exciting. 
but I do notice that most of you guys listen on iTunes, so that's interesting. I use Spotify to listen to podcasts and music and stuff, but Brett uses iTunes. So I guess it's all just like whatever works for you. I just want to throw in a little bit of eyeshadow. Also, I wanted to ask you guys, like, if you have anything you want me to talk about on the podcast, please let me know. I have, like, um, I have a list of things I want to get through, and I think that will change and more ideas will come as, as my life goes on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you guys have anything that you, like, specifically want me to talk about, please drop that in the comments or message me or whatever. Is it okay to wear eyeshadow to the eye doctor? I feel like it's gotta be fine, right? Like, they don't care. They're not gonna touch me, you know what I mean? They're not gonna touch my face or anything. I'm clearly new to this, but it's so funny because like my whole life I always have wanted to wear eye glasses. I was gonna say eyeshadow, glasses. And I never could because I always had good vision, but now looking at screens all day made my vision get bad it's kind of scary that that can happen but that's why I'm, i want to like go to the eye doctor so i'm not straining my eyes all the time so that my eyes can just chill do their thing and not be like working all day you know what I mean? not be working hard all day i just wanted to fill in my eyebrows closer to the mirror because i can't see <laughs> so i turned the camera off real quick but um I wanted to show you guys my lipstick. I'll use one of those new Jeffree Star ones I got. I'll use just everything that I got new. So this is the KKW Nude 1.5. And then I have the Kylie in the Dulce K or Dolce. I think it's Dulce. Where is the Dolce? I don't know. Well, I guess if I think of like Starbucks, it's like cinnamon dolce. So is it dolce? <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of yash. Creme de nude. The Jeffree Star mannequin one with Morphe. These have an interesting smell. It smells kind of like fruity. Almost it smells kind of like Red Bull. Is that a thing? Do you guys notice that too? And then this is the Morphe flower crown. But here's my look for the eye doctor. Let's go. This is the fit for today. I have on this Boss Babe sweatshirt from Good To Be. I love my Good To Be sweatshirts. I have on this leather jacket that has like fur on the inside from Pretty Little Thing. These um, leopard print leggings from Spanx. And then I'm just gonna put on some running shoes. But I feel like this is like chic, but casual. Perfect for running errands. <laughs> I just pulled into Costco and it's not open yet. I guess it opens at 10 and it's so funny because the parking lot is full of like moms. <laughs> so I'm like in the parking lot waiting in my car with all the other moms. I guess I'm a dog mom. So I count. I wanted to ask you guys about TikTok. So I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Brett and I have been talking about it a lot. Um, do you guys use it? Would you want me to use it? Um, so you can like follow me on there. Let me know. I'm totally open to it if you guys would want me on there. Um, like, totally, like, whatever. Whatever you guys want, I will do. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys use. I don't use it personally, um, but I totally could and start, like, looking into it and, like, creating content for it if you guys want that. But I feel like my audience right now is a little bit older, especially now that I'm married. Um, it feels like a lot of you guys are also married and stuff. And I've noticed that on TikTok, a lot of the users are young, younger at least. Um, but if that's not true, let me know. Let me let me know. Do you guys use TikTok? Do you like it? Um, are you interested in seeing more stuff from me on there or like more stuff like this on there? Let me know. I downloaded it the other day and scrolled through it and so did Brett. And 
from what from what I saw it was a little bit younger um but let me know obviously it's younger because that's who the users are so if the users start you know to be more people my age or whatever then that will change um so yeah let me know otherwise i'm totally good with staying here on instagram youtube the podcast and anywhere else i end up but let me know that's something i'm thinking about and the only thing is i just don't use it so i don't know but if you use it let me know if you like it all right looks like the moms are starting to pile out of their cars so i might head inside okay i am out of costco my eyes look good she said the eye doctor said I have astigmatism, so I got two pairs of glasses. I got one pair just for regular wear, and then I got one pair that has blue light block in them, so that's awesome, because sometimes I want, like, I don't care if they have blue light blocking, but if I'm going to wear the glasses, like, out, they look kind of blue. So, like, when I'm working in, in, like, in my own office, whatever, but I don't really always want to have glasses that have, like, a blue tint, you know? So, I got two pairs of glasses. They're really cute. And I ordered them, so I'll get them next week. And then I just went in um, to Party City and ordered some balloons for a secret project that you guys don't know about. But it's going to be so fun. So, hopefully, the balloon order works. I'm supposed to pick them up later this week. So, hopefully, that it works. And now I'm going to pick up some lunch. And then go back home, see Brett, record the podcast. And yeah, hang out with Joy, get a bunch of work done. Let's go home. Okay, I just got home and my camera is dying, but I wanted to show you guys my actual lipstick combo that I wear. I grabbed it out of my purse finally. So I have um, MAC Strip Down Liner. I'm just gonna touch up my lipstick before I record this podcast because I film it when I record it. So I want to have my lipstick done. So I'm just gonna touch up my makeup real quick. And then I have the Too Faced Skinny Dippin' lipstick. I love a tube of lipstick. And then I have the Maybelline 64 Unreal Gloss. Okay. That is my everyday lip color. That's what I always wear in my videos that you guys always ask me about. Um, but now I'm going to change and get ready to film this podcast and charge my cameras up. And I'll check in with you guys soon. So this is how I record my podcasts. Basically, I will take my microphone off during the week when I'm not using it, so I have desk space, and I'll just lay it on the floor over there. So I just put my microphone back up. My microphone itself is um, called the Rode Podcaster. This is like a little shock like absorber. Um, this is from Amazon. I forget the... Oh, newer. And then um, this cord just like plugs into the microphone, and then it plugs into my laptop so I can save the audio onto GarageBand. And I'm just gonna grab my computer and get all set up. I'm such an idiot. I literally just realized that I've been like changing the battery of my camera all day because it kept dying. So I thought both my batteries were charged or not charged. But somehow every time I went to change the battery, I kept putting the same battery back in. Literally that happened three times. I'm that like, I'm that scatterbrained right now. So I just plugged in the dead battery and I have a full battery literally ready to go all day. And I just kept putting the wrong one in. That was crazy. I probably had lipstick on my teeth when I was saying that. But anyways, I'm just gonna, um put my notebooks away when I just love to write things down like in notebooks so anytime I'm planning out my podcasts I will write it all down so I was using my notebooks today to get like all my notes in order for this podcast I'm gonna record so the podcast I'm recording today is episode number four and it's about um kind of about how I handle anxiety how I handle stress um, like my daily routine and the things I do throughout my days to help me relieve stress and help me avoid stress and anxiety and things like that. Just, it's a, it's a really good episode. I'm really excited about it. And I talked a little bit about, like I said, some of these topics in one of my um, recent videos about stress relief, but uh, this podcast just takes it even further and I give you guys a lot more of the tips that I do and I just share a little bit more. 
So I have my camera set up on my bike desk that I was using this morning. I might wear these, I might not, I don't know. So these are the blue light blocking glasses I always wear. These are the ones that are from iBuyDirect. So they're just plain, like, clear. There's no prescription in them. The ones I got kind of look like this, but a little bit cuter. I love the ones I got. I can't wait to get them. Okay, so I'm going to put these books away. Hold on. So two things that I do is I actually decided before I started the podcast that I always wanted to have like the same style. Anytime I'm talking about the podcast or doing something podcast related, I always wanted to wear a white shirt and jeans. Um, you're not going to see my pants today, so I'm just keeping my leopard print leggings on. <laughs> but like all of my Full of Joy podcast Instagram, I always have on a white shirt and jeans. In all of my podcast videos, I'm always going to have on a white shirt. I just feel like that's really neutral and clean and just kind of like adds to the like aesthetic of the Full of Joy brand um so yeah so i always put on like a cute white shirt this is actually just a thermal from american eagle it's like ribbed it's actually really cute like i love this shirt um and the second thing i always do is i actually film my podcast so you guys can watch it here on youtube like i was talking about earlier um just follow full of joy podcast on youtube um so yeah i always film it on my big camera and then i'm just gonna delete everything off of here because i don't need it anymore so I film it on my big camera, but I use the audio from my microphone. So it's really easy to, to do. All I do is I open iMovie to edit this, like edit out the parts where I'm sitting down, edit out the parts where I'm looking through my notes, edit out parts where I like sneeze or whatever, you know what I mean? So anytime I'm editing that in iMovie, um, I will just sync up this audio with the microphone audio. Um, so my lips match that audio. And then you actually only hear that audio on YouTube. You don't hear this audio. So I just take this audio all together. Um, but I use this image. Erase images. All images on card. Okay. Hopefully that was okay to do. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to get this camera set up right here. So it faces me in my full of joy sign when I'm sitting there talking. So I have this tripod. I'm just going to set up back here. And then turn it on make sure it's all level. That looks pretty good. That was easy. Cool. So I find that I have like the best mental clarity when my space is clean. So I try to make sure that these closet doors are closed. Otherwise I'm just staring at my clothes the entire time. And I keep this room pretty, pretty clean at all times. So it's like, you know, it's a clean workspace. And then I usually bring my mirror over here and line it up with my chair so I can see myself in the mirror and make sure my hair is not like going like this or something, you know what I mean? Because I'm filming this. Otherwise, if I wasn't filming this, if this was just like for my audio, it wouldn't matter. But since I'm filming it, I like to have a mirror in front of me. So I think I'm pretty much good to go. I think I might start recording soon. I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a seat. I'm not filming on my big camera yet, but I'm just gonna get my computer ready and catch my breath. Every time I like start filming or start my podcast, I'm always like, hey everybody. I can barely breathe because I'm doing all this like running around beforehand. And I feel like it sounds like I can't breathe, but I'm just, it's just cause I'm like, I just changed and made my tripod and moved my mirror and all this furniture, you know? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is plug in my microphone. Here we go. So that is plugged in. And now this little green light is on. So that's good, the microphone's on. I'll make sure the volume is where I want it to be on here. So then the next thing that I do is open GarageBand right here on my laptop. So I think this like comes on every MacBook. So I just open it and I click new project. And this is what I use to record the audio. Then I choose a little microphone guy and I make sure that the audio is coming from my microphone right here. It says Rode Podcaster, which is my microphone. Create. So this right here is where I will be, like where my audio will be, like right in here. I turn those off and then I make this thing just say the time. So then if I record for like 20 minutes, it'll say 20 up here. So I'll kind of get a, you know, a little bit of a glimpse at how long I've been talking for and all that kind of stuff. 
And then when I am talking into the microphone, you can see right here, this is where the audio is. That's really good. If I'm talking really loud, it'll get like yellow and red over here. And that means it's like a little bit too loud. But just about right here is literally like the perfect sound for the audio. So I'm gonna try to just like get this close to the microphone and that will pick up the best audio. So that's all I do. Um, and then I just press start on here and start on my camera and then I can just start talking. Oh, and of course I have my notes as well. So yeah, I just write my notes out on like pages or whatever you have on your laptop or I'll just use my notebook, but typically I like to use my laptop so I can kind of scroll around on there. But yeah, that is how I record my podcast. So I'm gonna start recording right now. So if you guys wanna hear what I'm talking about right here, right now, make sure you guys go ahead and go listen to episode number four because that is right now what I'm gonna record. I forgot to mention one thing that I always do is make sure my laptop volume is turned all the way down and make sure my phone volume is turned all the way down. And then I put my phone in this drawer so I don't see it, I don't hear it. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, like anytime I start filming or talking, like that's when someone calls me, you know what I mean? So yeah, I just put all the sounds away so that I don't get distracted or like lose track of a thought if like something pops up on my phone, you know? Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath and start recording. Something else that we have been adding into our routine is the Headspace app. So we've been using Headspace for a little over a year, I would say, maybe more than that. I kind of forget. Um, Brett has done it a lot longer than I have, um, but yeah, basically the Headspace app is like a meditation app and you can choose however long you want. I'm tired. That was an hour. I talked for an hour. That's gonna be my longest episode yet. That's awesome. Do you guys like longer episodes? What do you like? I've been doing about 20 minutes. Maybe I'll break this up into two episodes. I don't know. We'll see. I bet when I edit it, it'll end up being about 40 minutes or so, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. Okay, so now what I do is I save this audio. I think that saved. Yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna unplug my microphone and I have this little hard drive. So I'm gonna take my little external hard drive and plug that in. Here is my audio, so you can see it was 53 minutes. So here is all the audio in here. Right here as I'm talking, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm going to export song to disc and I'm going to save it on my hard drive. And I'm gonna save it as high quality MP3, select the audio export. And then it says bouncing, so it kind of is just like getting all of the episode together and like going through all of it. And then it's going to save onto my hard drive. And then I'm going to take the SD card out of my camera and the audio from my hard drive and put it all together in iMovie. And then I just edit that. And that's all I do. That is how I record my podcasts. Super simple. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Like now that I do it, I'm like, oh, that's it. Like, it's like no big deal. But I was so nervous about making the podcast. Like, oh my gosh, I was always nervous about it. I, I put it off and put it off and put it off. Because I was like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Like, I don't know anything about audio. I don't know about podcasting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I literally put it off since April. And I started it in October. April. April. <laughs> like that is how much in my head I was. Um... But I'm so glad I finally did it. So yeah. All right, I think this is a long vlog. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and edit this podcast for you guys. But I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking an interest in my life. It's so fun to share all these things with you guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.